everybody we're playing minecraft again today we're going to be checking out the first part of the caves and cliffs update that was just released so yeah just like we usually do with new updates we're going to go through and try to explore as much as we can now before we actually start exploring and having some fun i'm going to be doing something that i've never done before with this world so if you guys didn't know this world that i'm in is quite old it's like seven or eight years old at this point and it's gone through a lot of updates and never have i once deleted any chunks the file size of this world is over 10 gigs at this point it's a massive world so what i'm going to do for basically the first time ever any chunks that i've loaded but are not being used i'm going to go ahead and just reset them all so basically we keep everything in our world but things like random chunks like forests and stuff like that we're going to reset them so we can try to play with the new things like copper dripstone stuff like that now when the second part of this update comes along the part with you know like the major update with the world height and the new caves we're also going to be doing this basically again okay everyone now you might be asking yourself hey frozen how are you going to do that well, I have this tool here called MCA Selector, and this basically lets me uh, select any chunks that I want, and I can reset or delete them, basically. So I have my world open here. You could see this is my entire base right here. This is spawn right here. This is like, you know, where we first started our world, and I have it going down to my guardian farm. So basically, what well, my goal is going to be here is I'm going to keep all of this right here, but then basically everything on the outside, things like this are just taking up information in my world and they don't have, you know, the new things. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Let me go ahead and select everything that I don't need and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, guys, so I think I've made my final selection. So as you guys see, I have gone a little bit past my base just to be sure, but I've got everything um in my main base i've went all the way to the spawn because i want to keep spawn the same i've went all the way to my guardian farm honestly i might even maybe deselect these i feel like maybe th i think that could be fine just like that so everything else i'm going to delete because if i really think about it there's nothing that i particularly need you know i this will of course reset my deserts and my ice spike biomes but it's not really a big deal like it's you know I it, it's not like I have to remind those blocks if I want to get them so it's not that much of a difference so what I'm gonna do now these are the ones that I don't want to delete so what I'm gonna do a select invert so it basically grabs everything that I don't want and then I can go to delete selected chunks yes and before you guys start screaming at me I did make backups. I'm not stupid. I did make a whole bunch of backups. So I'm going to go ahead and delete. And then again, if there's something that I deleted that I'm like, oh crap, wait, I need that. I do have backups. So I'll just go back to those. So I'm going to go ahead. Yes. Bam. Everything outside of just this little part is now deleted. I don't have to save or anything right nope so i actively just deleted everything so now we can go out and now i have to open up minecraft again okay everybody i am back in my world everything seems to be fine so i think we're good Okay, everybody, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're ready to start exploring. So I'm going to get some gear together. We're going to fly a little bit of ways and we're going to start gathering. Okay, so one of the first things introduced into this update is candles. And those I can actually make without actually exploring. So what we're going to need is to grab some string and then I need to grab some honeycomb. Now I'm wondering, do I have some in here? Okay, I have a little bit. I have more in the basement, but... Yes, candles. That is sick. Now, I don't. This is the part that I didn't look up. How do I color them? Do I have to add color? Do I do? Oh, I do this and then I add the color. Correct. Okay. Okay. So let's just make a bunch of candles. Now, since there's a new update, the one downside of all this is obviously I don't have Optifine. So, you know, that's it is what it is. But Optifine should come out in a little bit. 
Okay, I'm too lazy. Let's just grab this one right here. Okay, no resource packs, no data packs, nothing. This is core vanilla Minecraft gameplay. So, if we, now we do this. There we go. And I also had to turn up my particles. We can see that if we make these candles, we can actually light them. And then if we make the blue one. Bam. What? It might take a little while to turn on. Okay, so those are the candles, which are pretty cool. Oops, see, now i got to be careful to not break the stuff underneath them. Yeah, the world looks weird without that resource pack, but, um, hey, I guess we'll have to get used to it just for a little while, it seems. Okay, so we're not going to look at the candles too long because they're really just candles. But there is one thing I want to try. That is a cake. Because I know, well, I guess we'll just do it right here. We can stick a cake. We can stick the candles on the cake, right? Okay, okay, I guess we can only put one, right? Bam. That is actually super sick. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, You know, there are certain things in the world that are like, you know, milestones. So in the main building over here, I guess I'll just show you guys just for the giggles of oh. it. 2015, bang, we did that. You know what we're going to do right now? We're going to put a cake and a candle and a sign with today's date. And that way we'll know this is the date where we started playing the Caves and Cliffs update. Now, my problem is I don't have another cake. So you and I'm thinking I'm actually going to want to put that cake on top of a new block. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick this cake in here with some of the new candles we're going to go out exploring, grab some of the new blocks, and then we'll put that monument and cake on top of that new block after we get it. These maps need updating real bad. Okay, maybe we'll do that later. Okay, I've got some ender chests. I've got all my tools. Is one of these silk touch? Okay, that one's silk touch. I think we are ready to move out. So, I'm going to grab my rockets. My leech is okay. Oh, see, this is a new village. I think we're now in new chunks because I don't remember that village being there. Again, most of this stuff is actually going to be new because, well, it, it new. So, most of it's not going to be new. The terrain itself is not new. The biomes are not new. But things like these villages weren't there in the older version of my world. So stuff like this is going to be new. But I think we are now far enough to where I guess we can go down and... Begin digging. I choose you right here. So I'm just digging down. This is one of the new things you could see. There's things that have a bit of a slight new texture. Let me go ahead and put on a night vision potion just so you guys can see. Let me dig over here just so I can throw some blocks away. Let's go ahead and just like throw that away. Now we can, right now we have a silk touch. Let's go ahead and get our non silk touch in here too just so we can observe these blocks. And not a silk touch, just pick it up how it is an iron ore. But I think there's a new change. I think if I hit it with a non, it actually gives me raw iron. So it no longer gives me the iron ore itself. A normal non-silk will now give you the ore version. And this one is not fortune. But if I had fortune, it would actually give me more iron. Okay, okay, okay. This is the new block right here. The new ore everyone's been talking about. I silk touch it. I can pick up the copper ore. Did I say iron ore? I meant copper ore. Now, if I'm going to mine this, I'm pretty sure I have a fortune pick in here. This is my daily kit. Fortune 3. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to even use that one. I want to use the fortune. If I do anything, I want fortune out of it. Okay, so... Let's see if we fortune it. Yes, it gives me that copper. And you can see we did get multiple copper because it is fortune. So any ores are now fortunable. And that is the new the new um, coal right there, which is sick. And then, whoa, that's a new block right there too. It just ran right into it. Let me uh, silk touch it first. And then what if I don't silk touch it? Okay, they both work. <gasps> Dripstone, okay. Can I not silk touch it? Yes. Okay, so you can grab this with just about anything. So what are these blocks? These are dripstone blocks, and these are pointed dripstone. I think with these dripstone... Okay, how do I make them... I know, I know there's a way to make them grow. I'll have to 
maybe do a little bit of side researching on that. Okay, well, these this is a new block. So, now if that, that falls on us, right? That can fall. Um, yeah, if I do this, it falls. Let me see how hard it hurts. It didn't even hit me. Okay. I'm pretty sure if that was a lot higher up, it would probably hit a lot harder. Because I think I watched Suzumu Void's like, testing video with it, and it is enough to kill a player at a certain distance. It's, it is pretty tough. Okay, we need to get... You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to silk touch it, because then what I'll do is I'll just fortune it back at the house. Because I don't want to you know, carry a bunch of copper. But I do want to gather quite a bit of copper now, because obviously we want to play with it, right? Okay, now I'm curious. If we go past 22... Oh, that's just lapis. I thought it was like, oh, what is that? It's literally just lapis, but I'll, I'll grab it up. There's a little bit of redstone. I like those new textures. Okay. That is a much cooler looking redstone to me. I know there's a thing called Deep Slate. I know that's going to be in the new Caves and Cliffs in the second part. Okay, so it is down here too. I was wondering. Yeah, it's, it's a, called Deep Slate. Um, when the second part of this update comes out and... Oop, need to get out of this and they add the new height what uh nope they add the new height that deep slate's gonna be you know a couple layers thick that's new is that an oxal an oxal <gasps> i don't have a bucket i need to grab that with a bucket oh no 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 i go away go away okay uh i need to smelt iron now oh is this tough tough um i'm pretty sure this is a new block right no, this is Deep Slate. Okay. I know there's another thing called Tough. All right. I need to uh, smell some iron and grab a bucket before I lose that Oxalato because that is one of the new blocks. Okay. It seems like we probably lost the first one. But honestly, it's kind of an ugly Oxalato anyway. So I don't mind that much. I guess we'll just try to find another. While I'm doing that, though, I did find... Okay. Well, I did see some copper. What's this? Is this a uh, silk? Okay. Can't seem to pick that up. Maybe I need shears. Okay, let's make a pair of shears. And let's go back to that block. Because I know there's some more right here. Oh, the block. Oh, that block. <gasps> Glow squid. This is another new thing. Okay. If I kill this, let's make sure it's a looting, right? Okay. That gives me glow ink sack okay so that we can now put on things to make them glow which is interesting well while i'm here i'm gonna go ahead and grab more i'm guessing is this deep slate this high just for now until the second part i think that might be now it. here's another new thing these ores can actually spawn inside of the deep slate block so if we get these we can see it's actually different from gold ore it's deep slate gold ore not just uh gold ore so that is also something new, and that block applies to every other ore, diamond, iron, whatever. If it spawns where deep slate spawns, it can spawn as a deep slate ore. Okay, there's a chicken. I wish I could somehow save that, but not really. Okay, enough of this little cave right here. I'm going to go exploring, and I want to look for some of those lush caves. Oh, and I didn't realize this. There's actually two different blocks here. They're different colored and the fact that I've been silk touching all that deep slate. If I don't silk touch it, it's actually deep slate cobble and I could turn that into polished deep slate. And this block is not that bad. It's basically just a darker version of cobble. It's kind of, it's almost similar to blackstone. So that's kind of cool. But what is this? This is tough, right? This is tough. Okay, so that's deep slate. This is tough, and if I silk touch it, okay, so the tough comes in just one variance. It's the exact same block either way. Okay, that's interesting to know. Well, I'm going to grab some of the tough also. Ooh, found some diamonds along the way. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and silk touch those, but we can take a look at the new, new um, ore. That's cool. Now, what would be cool if we could find some deep slate diamond ore? Now, that would be cool. Okay, and there is some of the deep slate redstone. Now, that block looks pretty cool. I don't, honestly, I think that block could be used for a lot of other things, like a decorative block, because that red against the gray looks actually really cool. <gasps> Axolotl! Okay, whoa, and there's a pink one. 
So I'm pretty sure we can pick this up with a bucket. Yes, an axolotl in a bucket. And then we have a second bucket. And there's a white one. Okay, we grab one of those. Bang. And then can we just like in and out? Yeah, so we can just have them in and out. Cool. So there is some of the new mobs. Now, I'm pretty sure before I do anything crazy with them, I'll have to look at their... Uh, ooh, did I miss some? I want to look at their mechanics and make sure... Is that some copper? No, it's some uh, lapis. Okay. Um, you know how like the dolphins, I put them in a world, but they don't despawn. I'm pretty sure they behave similar to dolphins, where I put them in a world and they don't actually despawn uh, without a name tag. But I'm going to make sure. But either way, right now I have them. So I'm just going to take them with me back home. Okay, there's that some of, there's some of that stuff we saw. Let's try with a pair of shears. So with shears, it does work. And it's a grow lichen. Okay. So if we see any more of that stuff, we'll have to grab it. Okay, everybody. So I just did some Googling. And apparently the lush caves themselves aren't actually in this update. The blocks for the lush cave is, but not the lush cave itself. So what we're going to do, we're only going to spend a little bit more time underground. There's only one other thing I'm looking for. And that's actually the crystal geode, you know, the amethyst, the crystals, because that is introduced into this update so the crystals we can find so i'm just gonna dig until we find one of those and i think that might be the last thing is we need as far as underground like i said we could probably get a lot of you know what? i might actually spend a little bit more time because i know those lush cave blocks are in chests so maybe i'll spend a little bit of time looking f I, and i know there was um mine shaft back there Maybe I'll head back. I'm just going to keep digging straight until I find a geode. Okay, finally, a chest. Anything? <gasps> Glow berries. Okay, powered rails. Don't need those. Okay, there is something new. Glow berries. Is there seeds? No? Okay. Well, I'll have to check out um, polished. Okay, we already looked at that. I'll have to look at that when I get home, but there we go. Another new block. Okay, I guess let's go grab those oxalatos now. I'll need a bit of water, so I'll have to grab that one. No, 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 don't kill it. You know, I'm going to grab this one before it dies right there. I'm going to need this water source to grab you. Oop, okay, apparently I didn't grab it, so let me go up and grab one. I'll be able to grab that fourth, and we'll have a good little collection of oxalatos when we go home. And then I have one more bucket. In the middle of all this, I want to be trying collecting some of this lichen here. Lichen, lichen, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But... Okay, everybody, so I'm digging, and I ran into this stuff, the smooth basalt. And then this is calcite. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not wrong, this is the stuff that you run into when you get close to the uh, geode amethyst thing. So if you get, these are all block of amethysts. Okay, real quick, let me get rid of all of these because right now I do not want these creepers blowing up. Okay, that's sick. These This calcite block looks actually really nice. I wonder what will able... I don't know what I can do with these calcite, but yeah, I'm going to grab all the calcite I can because this is a really cool block. But before I actually do a lot of the farming, I want to look at the crystals, so... Let's make sure I have my smooth. These, I can't, right? No, those are where the geodes grow, I think. So those I cannot pick up. But I can pick up just like the crystal themselves, just like that. So that's a large amethyst bud. That's a medium amethyst bud. So they do come in different sizes. Is that one a small? That one's a small amethyst bud. And then what happened? Oh, I think I have to... Well, I think I'll need a crafting table to manipulate those, but I'm going to go ahead and grab as many crystals as I can find. Okay, everybody, I collected enough of everything I need, I think. I think if I see any just extra crystals sticking out like that one, I'm going to go ahead and grab them. But I'm going to start making my way back to the base. Okay, guys, we're here back home, and <clears throat> I've got all the shulkers with all of the new items. So let's go ahead and lay them out and then we can kind of go through them and we'll do a little bit of crafting of some of the new items. So um, let me grab a few things that I know I'll need. Okay, so let's kind of begin here. There's not a lot we can do, but the one thing we have to do is break up all of this 
iron or sorry, uh, copper so we can actually start playing with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my fortune pick. I'm going to go out and start breaking some of this. Okay, I've broken up a good bit of the iron here. This should, I keep saying iron, it's copper. I've broken up a good bit of it, so we should be able to just go ahead and smelt some of it. Uh, let's go ahead and stick some iron. Okay, so we've got some of that running. I guess I'll just, um, I don't know, stick the rest of this in here. Um, let's see. There's a lot of these things we can't really play with. We just kind of, kind of have to see. So we have some of the deep slate. We have the tough, um, the dripstone block, the pointed dripstone. Okay, so with these crystals, I think if... Oh, wait, can I place them anywhere? Okay, so I can place them anywhere. I know the... So what I want to do is place the cluster, because this is the most formed. If I go with fortune... Yes, it breaks into crystals, or uh, technically the amethyst shard. And then those... Let's go to the blast furnace, grab some of these copper ingots. So those can be transformed into the copper blocks... But they can also be transformed into a lightning rod. And along with that, if we want to put uh, one of the crystals with two copper ingots, we make the spyglass. Okay, so those are three new items already. Let's go up here. And I don't really have... I'm not in danger of anything burning down on my house. So these, this lightning rod isn't super effective. Because so obviously, if you guys couldn't guess, all this does is attract lightning. So if you have a wooden house... You want to put this on your wooden house so the lightning strikes this instead of your wood and burns down your entire house. So, you know, a pretty simple item. Let's go back down here. Now we have, this is just the, obviously the block version of copper. And that's like the famous block that in the past, you know, you guys have noticed that it, it can um, erode over time and turn into more of a blue color. So we're going to go ahead and leave that there and I guess let it erode for a while just for fun. And the spyglass... It's literally just like a, I mean, it is what it is. It's a spyglass. So you look through it and you can look closer at things, which is pretty cool. You know, um, this is basically just a, uh, uh, a feature that Optifine already had for a very long time. But now it's in vanilla. So that's cool. It's another cool little addition to the game. So another thing we can do, if we take the item frames in the glow can actually make a glowing item frame which is super cool so if we put that here yeah it stands out a little bit more than those so eventually i might change all of these to glow item frames but obviously that's gonna it's gonna take a little while because i'm gonna need a lot of that uh glow ink okay so i looked in a little bit on the glow berries apparently these grow on the bottom of blocks Okay, so if I want to grow them, I actually place them on the bottom just like that. For now, I'm not going to put all of them up there. But apparently, they're supposed to grow down from there. So that's interesting. Now, I wonder, if I use some bone meal right now, will it let me grow some of this? Let's run over here. Do this. Okay. Oh, I just literally can use bone meal on it. And it just grows. Okay. Interesting. So there's 21 more glow berries. So I guess this is something. You could probably automate this really easily with just bone meal. Now, I don't know. Do these glow berries have like any other use? Well, we've got a lot of work to do in the next couple episodes with all of these things. We obviously need to build an axolotl enclosure. Um, there's a lot of new blocks, like the calcite I really, really like. I'm going to need to collect a lot more of this glow ink. I, I want to collect a lot more of these crystal shards so I can make tinted glass. There's a lot of things I want to do, but what I'm going to do, because I want to show you all the new items, but obviously it would take me forever to gather all of them individually, and I still want to make that cake thing, but what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go into a creative world just so I could... Uh, very quickly show you um, just some of these blocks that you know I'm gonna miss so this is a copy of my world in creative this you could tell it's old because there's no giant buildings there there's nothing there it's pretty barren but I'm gonna go through and see if there's any blocks that I missed okay everybody so we didn't 
I actually didn't miss too much. These are just uh, the block of raw iron, block of raw copper, block of raw gold. These are different copper variants you could see. Let me weather clear just to make it look a little nicer here. Let's just do that much. So you can see this is the fully oxidized version of the copper as it goes through. And then really the only big thing we missed is the whole, basically a lot of the plants. So you could see here, I'll go through them one by one. But we have the small drip leaf. Okay, so this one I could play. So these are, this is a flowering azalea and an azalea. I can step on those. Okay, so I've, these go on the azaleas. So this is a big drip leaf. And I think if I step on it, it eventually goes down and actually kicks me off. Okay, and actually, ooh, and I could raise the heights of these. You can see if I step on it, it eventually just kind of kicks me off of it. The hanging roots, I think we have to hang those down, right? Yup. And then the moss block. And then this moss block can be used to make the uh, mossy stone, the mossy brick, I mean. And it has a few other uses as far as, like, growing. But honestly, that's kind of all we missed as far as new items. I think there's definitely small things like, you know, this is the raw gold, the raw iron, the crystal. I might have not shown every single one of those. So yeah, as far as this episode, we have kind of seen all of the new items. Now in the next couple episodes, it's going to be our job to actually work with these items to, uh, you know, have some fun with them. So like I said, I want to make an oxalotl enclosure. And there are some builds that I want to do with the new block. Okay, guys, but I do want to do one productive thing this episode. Mainly, I just want to do a little bit of building. Okay, so just the first little thing. I asked you guys last episode what you thought of either having the base being glowstone themed or just having the lamps. Well, I decided why not have the best of both worlds. So my base is now officially half and half. So this entire half of the base is going to be glowstone, just like how it was before. And you can see how it looks. And this half, it's going to be the lamps. So you can see I took out all the floor and the bottom, and it's all lamps. And then just over here in the middle, you can see it just kind of segues one, 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 all the way down the middle. Um, honestly, I really like how this looks. I think we get the best of both blocks like this, and it gives the base a little bit of character. And then just some update news. I've been grinding like I usually do. The one thing I did a lot of is more villager farming. Um, I, you know, activated... I forgot sometimes this door doesn't work if the redstone is inverted. I really have to fix that. Maybe I'll fix that this episode. But, yeah, I've been farming a lot to get a lot of um, plants. And I've been using that to gather a lot of redstone. And I've been doing it with the clerics. But mostly the farmers. You can see I have that full chest, that full chest. And then this one's kind of on its way. And then I did do a little bit more also with the librarians, but um, yeah, I felt like I should show that off because I know I have a lot of glowstone in this world and a lot of people just kind of forget that I do still have to grind for um, potatoes, carrots, wheat, and all that stuff to actually trade for that glowstone. Okay, but the reason that I actually wanted to start recording was because I wanted to show you guys my plans before I actually get them done because I tend to just get things done and then start recording the episode so for once i'm gonna show you what it looks like before we start so i can give you guys an idea and then you guys can actually meet me um once it's done so you can probably see i have base expansion in my head so you can see this is where the base was before but now i want to increase that so all the way from over here i extended out a few blocks and i might even extend it more out this way but I don't want to get rid of that island. So for now, I just made it a little further. I've gone all the way up to this little uh, ridge of hills, go around it, and then I go all the way back there into those mountains, and I cover the entire thing with stone. So what I'm going to be spending the next probably couple days is just filling in all of this with stone, and obviously I need to put in glowstone because I don't want it to be dark. But I just wanted to give you guys guess, like give you guys a scale of kind of how big it is. It's pretty large, and then you could see that. Um, to kind of transition between the mountains and the grass because this is going to stay grass So the transition between the grass and the stone. I'm actually going to take this wall that we built the attack on Titan wall And I'm actually going to expand it. So I think that'll provide a really good transition um, Between like this area and then that area over there So I'm just going to take this wall you can see I already started removing part of it so I can move it And I'm just going to extend it this way. So I'll have like a little uh, you know little corner here for the wall 
I have that beacon there because I had to remove that part of the mountain. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to fly around just a tiny, tiny bit. So it's not a crazy amount, but honestly, the wall is going to take longer than filling this in. But I got to go around and I got to torch off all of this land. And uh, the really, the glowstone takes the longest to actually do. But Okay, everybody, are you ready to see the progress that I have made? It's a lot. Bam. So it's completely done. You could see the wall is completely extended in this direction. There's something I got to show you up top. All of this is filled in just like we have here with all of the lights. And I even went that extra mile and took this corner right here, which I said I wasn't going to do because of the mountain. I cleared the mountain and I did it anyway just for fun. So if we glide, uh, glide down. Oh, and the big difference, you can see these are made out of glowstone lights. These, since we now have the lamps, I made into the new lamps. You can see this is anything with, with the lamp is newly generated. Anything with the glowstone is old. You can see it comes all the way over here, and I just cleared this mountain, put some dirt over here just so it doesn't, you know, the stone doesn't stick out. But it comes all the way over here, and it goes all the way over here, all the way up to the wall. And here, I think the wall looks really, really good and amazing because it's right next to the stone. I like this a lot. I'm really impressed with this area, and this area came in the perfect time because now we have this gigantic place to work with in this new update so a lot of our projects for the new update are going to be in this area because this is basically our new working space i do have some more over there near the grass that's probably where i'm gonna put hmm actually maybe not i guess the axolotl enclosure might go over there but a lot of the farms and builds i'm gonna build here um just a couple of things that i did and gotta remind myself i need more rockets on top of the walls here i added rails just because in uh, Attack on Titan, there is rails on top. So just for a tiny bit more realism, I came over here and added these rails on top. Obviously, once again, I finished the wall. I finished all of this. And then the one big thing was there was a big shadow on the wall, and I kept trying to figure out where that is. It was actually the roller coaster, because if you guys know, the roller coaster was right above the wall. So one of the big changes that I made was I actually altered the entire roller coaster just so that shadow isn't there anymore. So if we go over here, you can see that the roller coaster you used to go here. It used to keep going. It used to come down, up, and then go over there. I completely circumvented it where I made a loop right here so there's no more shadow over there. And it comes around over here. And now it goes on top of glass. And you can see the rails come here. So now it just goes directly over our base instead of going down there. So we do miss that like up down part, but we can recreate it somewhere else. And I think this looks a lot cleaner and disturbs less of the actual base. But guys, I think that's going to be the last thing I do this episode. In between now and the last episode, I'm going to do a lot more collecting of the copper, the crystals, the amethysts, all of that stuff. And we'll start uh, planning some pretty big projects. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.